heading up to the uh, turn off to Alexandra and Queenstown. We're not going that way, obviously. That's the turn off down here. Uh, it was one stormy, cold night. So not so stormy, but cold and damp. I got dropped off in this area and I walked all the way to Kaitangata because I had to get back from, Kata, uh, from Dunedin to Kaitangata. This is the Milton to in Dunedin, so Milton, 3 kilometres, Dunedin, 58. And we're coming up to Milton. Horson, sign. This is uh, South Otago on a grim day. On a sunny day it looks much better. Milton has some famous people including there's a lady that reads the Channel, Fr Channel 3 Late Night News, a very beautiful young woman, I forgot her name, but she comes from Milton. And there's also a skinhead that used to lie down in the... Here's the sign. Here's the Milton sign, the town of opportunities. There was also, a, I think it was a skinhead that took pee or drugs and... What did he end up doing, Dad? You read it in the paper a few months ago. I don't ago. know. He was a local... He scalped an old woman. No, no, he did something crazy though. He, he murdered people, he raped people or something, so... It's opposites, they've got a nice young woman that's on TV free late night news and then they've got, I forgot her name, she's very nice and she's alternative, she doesn't seem like she's from Milton and then you've got opposites, you've got like, you know, but generally about 99.999% of the people here are, oh they're not bad natured but you know, they're, sometimes they just, they can't help but be simple and we're coming up to Milton, the town of opportunities uh, this is the bridge leading into Milton. That's the Mill Stream Lump, Mill, whatever you want to call it, the Lumber, lumber Yard. My, my French, uh, that's the Tokamarira River. We can't see it. And we're coming into Milton. This is the town of opportunities. The Woollen Mill, it's over here. The Woollen Mill, yeah, okay, Dad, stop talking. This is uh, about 45 minutes south of the capital of Otago district of New Zealand. It's got a subway now, as you can see. It's uh, it's, I don't, it's got a nice Christmas tree this time of year in a church. It's not a bad town. It's uh, it's uh, you know there's some. There's a local. There's a local. I should I don't like doing that because it. Oh, it's it's a market day here today. Yeah, I'm I'm not bothered. Christmas market day. Look. Christmas market day. There's the Bruce. Ladies, the old ladies. A guy called Bruce and Alliance. The old um, ladies are selling a sausage sizzle. Yeah, yeah. This is a clue for uh, about, I mean a Milton market day for Christmas. It's got an Italian cafe. It's not tiny. It's not like very tiny. It's maybe as big, oh, not as big as Balclufa, but it's got uh, everything you'd need, a country boy would need. The Salvation Army. The Salvation Army. There's banks. There's alcohol stores, petrol stations, Toko training where my friend Damon went because uh, he didn't finish. He, he was bad at high school. Damon came down here, Dad, and he got into a lot of fights with the locals. And Deborah's down here. That's the local liquor land. Uh, yeah, that's the, one of the garages, that's a, some sort of tourist bus. And the wee motel, there's a local lady, middle-aged local lady, power walking as they do down here. This is uh, the local four square with some young people. This is the, the lo local, local yobos, this, they hang out at supermarkets and stuff. Oh no, 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 family, oh, sorry. Look at that. Santa Claus in a fucking yeah, It's carriage. a fake, fake horse. There was a fake horse with a Santa Claus in a, in a, a four-square four supermarket. A, pretty much a, a trademark of New Zealand, old-fashioned New Zealand four-square supermarket. And now we're pretty much leaving Milton and we're we're coming up to, what's the name of the high school? Toko, what is it? Toko Marira. Toko Marira. My dad's had endeavours there with, uh, for his work, which I'm not going to get into. Just Let's just say it's something to do with teaching. And uh, that's a camping ground, the Milton camping ground. It's a local girl, I don't know if you saw her. We're now leaving Milton. They're having an AMP show, I don't know if they've already had it. And anyone that's not from New Zealand, an AMP show is agricultural and, what is it? Produce. Agriculture and produce, and it's, they've had them for years, maybe going back a hundred years, and they have them in wee towns all around New Zealand, I think even up north. And people get together and they have food and they they chop have wood chopping competitions and sheep running competitions and 
all this other queer stuff. It's a good family day for a redneck in New Zealand. And uh, not far from here is the recently opened, well not very recently, but opened, yeah, it's reasonably new, is the Dunedin, they call it the Milton Hilton, after the Hilton Hotel, because apparently it's uh, very flash, very new. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the actual prison's called. I think it's called the Milton Prison, or Correctional Unit. And you get some, uh, a lot of people from Kaitangata and Bakluford go there. Domestic abusers, rapists, uh, uh, bogans that have done too many burnouts. Don't forget about paedophiles, Leon. And paedophiles, of course. Yeah, yeah, that'll be right up your fucking alley. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it, Leon? Uh, that's my uh, father. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he's... Uh, subway sign, Leon, look. Yep. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's people from all around New Zealand, but especially South Island, they get transferred here, uh, we're coming up to it, but I, I'd say that at least about 50% would be from Kaitangata, the population of Kaitangata is 800, I'd say at least 400 people in that prison are from Kaitangata, uh, obviously, uh, yeah, there's not much at the moment, some surrounding farmland, tourist bus or something coming up here. Where's the prison? The prison is surrounded, not surrounded, but behind it is some big hills and pine trees that I think run all the way to Kaitangata and Fervra. So if you wanted to escape, it might be a good place. Anyone that watches this in the Milton prison or any correctional guards who are watching this, I recommend for a prisoner to escape through that bush. I don't know if they'll make it, but uh, the bush goes for a long way. Where's the, where's the jail? I don't know. I'm sorry guys, but my camera is um, not the best and I don't know if I can get the, the prison... Uh, oh yeah, I can I can zoom up a little bit, but it's not... Yeah, I may not be able to get the prison. Well, that's the prison over there. It's uh, not the best view, it's in the distance. I would like to drive up to it, but we don't have enough time. Can I put that up there, near you? No, the no. Oh, my father's refusing, so... No, there it is. Yeah, yeah, I can't get much, that's all I can do. Get it through here, past these trees. Yeah. This is the Targo Correctional Unit in Milton, Milton Hilton, near Melbourne. Melbourne? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Dunedin Prison. I'm sorry, but you might not be able to see much, but if you have... It's not that interesting anyway, so... That's, uh... There's a lot of murderers and rapists and pedos from Kaitangata there and other strange types not many people for drugs because down here they're they're very conservative and they're against people that smoke or anything very very conservative even the young people there's a few smokers but most of them are very conservative it's spates the local beer for them and uh yeah okay i'm nice now signing out uh this is leon short reporting for youtube media uh we're leaving milton or uh, Melbourne, which is a little settlement after Milton, not exactly a, a town, it's just kind of like a settlement or something that's joined on to Milton in some ways. And uh, we're leaving, and the next place we're coming up to is a wee town called Waihola that has very good fish and chips, freshly caught fish. Uh, and it's actually quite a beautiful wee town. You get there, you, you get a bit of energy because you're leaving behind this this really backward area and getting closer to Dunedin, which is it's a, not a half bad place, especially compared to down here. Over and out.